welcome back to Fish Talk. Uh, today we're going to do a bit, a little bit of rescaping on my 200 litre aquarium. Um, I'm happy with the scape kind of at the moment, um, but I'm having some BBA issues. So there's not the wood in there at the moment. That's in a, a bucket at the moment, soaking with some hydrogen peroxide. Um, so today we're going to take all the plants out, uh, get rid of all the plants that have got BBA on them. Uh, and if they've got fresh shoots, cut them and replant them. Um, I've actually got some re Rotala HRA and Rotala Vietnam coming. Um, they'll be here next week uh, from Aquarium Gardens. So we'll plant that then. So I might move the rocks around. Uh, I've got a lovely big uh, dragon stone here and you can't really see it because of all the uh, window of and Busa Philandra. So yeah, I'll just show you what I'm planning on doing. So before we gut it, I um, just want to show you around the tank and what we're going to do. I apologise for the shaky footage. Um, I need a gimbal but with everything that's going on at the moment I kind of want to just hold on to my money really just in case you know I'm out of a job or anything like that so worrying times at the moment but yeah I'll show you what we're going to do so basically we're going to take every single plant out for starters this boost of philandra at the, at the left it's purling like crazy looks quite cool but I think it's a bit too big and it's a bit out of place there so I'm going to reduce that and maybe put that somewhere else. Uh, the window love and the trident fern. We can't really see the trident ferns, only a little bit down there. The window love just took over. We're going to reduce that um, and then hopefully stick that on the wook. Sorry, the rocks or the wood. And then the stem plants at the back. We're going to take them all out, uh, find the new shoots, cut them off, put them back in. Uh, I've never really seen anyone like take up up and move it, so I kind of think I'm going to leave that there. I'm not brave enough to do that. It's took me ages to get this how it is. So yeah, let's get to it. The size of this rock that was hidden, and you couldn't see it at all because of the Busa Phalanger. Oh, I haven't seen Busa Phalanger that big for a while. That is huge. So we've got to figure out what to do with it. It's cool that it's got all these flowers. Looks super healthy. <laughs> I've pulled everything out. I've made a right mess. Kind of thinking to myself, what have I done now? So it's going to do a water change so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's, it looks like there's loads of fish in there now. <laughs> you couldn't see them before. And I found a few shrimp that I haven't seen in a long time. And like these pieces of rock. That one. You can't get it. Hold on, let's move that. It is massive. I can't even, I can barely pick that up. So I think it's all been hidden really. So I'm gonna to try to do something different. Yeah, let's just do a quick do a water change and then we'll be back to it. So we've drained the tank now. Um, I just had to catch the fish, and it was a pain in the ass. I hate catching uh, fish, so I'm just gonna rip all the. I oh, look at the shrimp at the back on the uh, on land or on the substrate. Sorry. So now we're going to 
clean the rocks up so I was going to take the booster off these rocks um, yeah it's really important when you're um, taking your plants out of the water or even when you're planting new plants um, keep them moist so I've got a spray bottle just to spray them uh, all the time so, uh, these have only been out like five minutes and you can see they're already going dry so just give everything a spray set this big boy off oh it's proper proper on that is jeez can't believe how well that's stuck on that is jesus christ That beast. So it's gonna clean them up uh, and then have a go at escaping. So guys after many hours of messing about, I love aquascaping but I find the hardscape so hard to say yeah, I love that now. So this is it. Just about to plant again now. And again, I've got to take the wood out again because I need to soak it in hydrogen peroxide. So, gone for like a big bank at the back. Um, and then that large stone right there. So, I'm going to get some stem plants at the back there. Uh, try to expose that stone more. Yeah, I'm dead happy with it. It's a quick view from the other side. Sorry I'm speaking a bit quieter, it's quite late now. Uh, I've got a little daughter so I don't really want to wake her up. Family problems. So I'll just show you what I'm doing with the plants. So I think I need more really. I'm just recovering the star region so what I do basically um, it's like you see this plant you see that the bottom's got that oh, sorry, it's not focusing, really fresh leaf and at the top there's some BBA so you basically just pull off the fresh one so right on the bottom sorry it's hard to do one handed so you take the fresh one, I pop it in my plant pile, and then I just do that for so on, for so on, for the rest. So I'll start planting the second, and uh, I'll show you the final result. All right, so then a few things off camera. Um, I've put the Java Fern Window Love at the front of the rock here. I've got a boost to that side, and a boost to that side. Uh, put another boost it at the back so I'm ready to plant now um, so I'll do a little time lapse of, of me planting So we're all filled up, all planted. Obviously, bear with me, it looks a bit bare. I've got some plants coming from aquarium gardens, but obviously, with this coronavirus, things are quite hard to get delivered. 
I think the Royal Mail are running roughly about a week behind. So yeah, all planted. So my idea is I've got storage in there. Storage in there. They've come around here, got storage in there and there. And at the top of the back. And I want the hair grass I've ordered to go nicely into that. Um, I've got the window love and then trident fern. And the rock. And then the Ludwigia plustrous at the back. Obviously I've got Rotada green and Vietnam coming as well, so that'd be really cool. Uh, great, great Northern Scapes helped me massively. I do like doing hard skates, but it's so hard to to think, oh, that that's that's it, I want it, you know what I mean? So I reached out to him and uh, asked, for, asked for some, some advice, sorry. And yeah, massively helped me. So originally, I had big rock here, trying to create a sense of depth. Um, but it didn't really work with the wood. So he helped me decide where to put this rock here. So yeah, massive shout out to him. Go follow me on Instagram. And if you want any updates on this tank, follow me on Instagram as well. So uh, it's at Fish Talk. So I'll keep you posted. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.